There's a fascinating argument in the Talmud. Can you take one Hanukkah light to light another? Usually, of course, we take an extra light, the shamash, and use it to light all the candles. But supposing we don't have an extra light, can we take the first candle and use it to light the others? Two great sages of the third century, Rav and Shmuel, argued about just this. Rav said no, Shmuel said yes. Now, normally we have a rule that whenever Rav and Shmuel disagree, the law follows Rav. There are only three exceptions, and this is one. So let's ask, why did Rav say you may not take a Hanukkah light to light others? Because, says the Talmud, komachish mitzvah, you diminish the first candle. Inevitably, you spill some of the wax or the oil, and Rav says don't do anything that would diminish the light of the first. But Shmuel disagrees, and the law follows Shmuel. Why so? The best way of answering that question is to think of two Jews, both religious, both committed, both living full Jewish lives. One says, I mustn't get involved with Jews who are less religious than I am, because if I do, my own standards will fall. I'll keep less. My light will be diminished. That's the view of Rav. The other says, no. When I use the flame of my faith to light a candle in someone else's life, my Jewishness is not diminished, it grows, because there's now more Jewish light in the world. When it comes to spiritual goods as opposed to material goods, the more I share, the more I have. If I share my knowledge or my faith or my love with others, I don't have less, I have more. That was the view of Shmuel, and that's how the law was eventually decided. So, share your Judaism with others. Take the flame of your faith and help set other souls on fire. Happy Hanukkah, Hanukkah Sunday.